What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be unboxing Synology's B station. Well, this is 4 terabytes of B station and I'm running out of my cloud space and if you're also trying to go your own personal cloud journey, this might be the perfect solution, I'm not, I'm not sure. So I'm going to be unboxing and trying to set this up. So looking at its cover over here it does have specifications of the hardware and what the package contains so let's see it has the model number that's bst 154t storage is four terabyte and it only has one disk of four terabyte it has two types of usb c i mean usb ports one is usb a and usb c so one is going to be pretty sure slower the other is Ethernet, so it does not look like it comes with an inbuilt Wi-Fi, so we would have to use the cable that it says it is providing, RZ45. And the package does contain the power cable, power adapter, so all right, let's unbox this. This, this is the B station. It's a quick man, quick start manual guide. Comes with the power adapter. RJ5 cable. hook it up over here for the adapter. Alright, so thank you. I think that's it. It does not have anything else besides the cardboard boxes. So now let's try to hook this up and try to set this for the first time. Alright, let's get started. So it has this for the power adapter. RJ45 cable, USB-C, USB-A. So I might need to correct myself. This USB-A is pretty sure faster compared to what I said earlier because it's the blue one, 3.2 gen and the power button. So let's hook this up. And it didn't come with any of the USB cables. So this is more if you probably need to connect to your computer or something, then I would have to go through the guide to understand what it exactly does. So let me try to hook it up to my router and see if it gets set up easily. I've now hooked up the power cable and the RJ45 cable. So um, let's try to turn it on. All right, I see lights blinking over here. The light is blinking. And I've gone through the manual and it says I can set it up on my phone or on the website. So I'm just gonna try to set it up through the laptop. So let's get started over there. So let's log into the portal that they mentioned. You can do this on your phone but I'm doing it on my laptop, so it's convenient, at least for me. So let's see why there is an amber light or what we can do to get this set up as soon as possible. Hopefully it's quick and easy. It says, yeah, I'm on my personal cloud journey. And if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and if you think this is a useful product, do click on the link that I'm gonna share at the bottom. Uh, it's gonna help us grow this channel. Uh, so if you plan to buy this product anyway, you can use it. Uh, so I'm gonna use my Gmail. So it's part of the Amazon affiliate program, so it would help me as a 
contributor contributor in the space as well and be able to bring some better videos in future for you guys so I'm already logged in I'm gonna say I agree no I don't need that latest product stuff so it says congratulation okay now how do I ensure Alright, do go through this. I don't wanna put that. So I've all I've already set up the physical part. I've already powered on. Yeah, it's orange. I would say amber light more than orange, but so yeah, it, it is ready for setup since it's in since it's a solid orange. So I need to provide the serial number that you can find it on your quick, easy manual, or I think there is also one at somewhere over here. Yeah, it's also in the B station itself. So let me type it. I need to hold the power button. So all right, I can hear the beep. I hope the mic collected that beep as well. So it's now preparing the B station. And yeah, the major reason behind getting this is I've been running out of my cloud storage, both iCloud, Google Cloud, and you know it's expensive. So, I mean, the monthly bill keeps racking up in the long term. So, thinking about what I might need in future, this is what I thought would be the best solution for me. There are other cloud, private cloud that you can have on your own. And I think this is one of the easiest, this has one of the easiest setup. And based on the reviews, it's pretty simple to use and even a person for, that does not have that knowledge and technology this might be a good thing so it's only 46 percent and says 14 minutes to go so we gonna come back in 14 minutes and I hope you're still enjoying this video so don't forget to hit like and subscribe so it took almost like 12 minutes to set to have this ready so I'm gonna give my own personal name and I also received an email saying hey it's ready for setup I can use it through my phone as well there are a couple of different apps like they've mentioned over here so it looks like a neat solution oh yeah I have free cloud protection for three months that's great that's good to know I'm not gonna activate it right now all right so I can either open it on my phone mobile app or uh, let's see what it does over here on the desktop itself on the, my laptop sorry I'm not using desktop I'm using my laptop over here so it's connecting to my B so it says I can upload files, photos. Yeah, this seems a bit slow, but yeah, just remember it just has one gig of RAM. does give you option to migrate photos from your iCloud, USB drive and everything, transfer tip. So if I want to transfer it from my iCloud or Google Photos, let's see what it does as well. Alright, so this is for 
photos. This is for videos, I mean for files, so let me just create a temp just random thing. Alright. So it looks basically just like your Google Drive right now. And I'm gonna upload a video over here. Just drag and drop. It's pretty quick right now. Probably it's because we I'm in the same network. Alright. So how do I transfer photos and videos from iCloud Photos to B Station gives you less than 15 GB transfer photos. Okay. All right. So my thing is ready. I can edit my memes, custom settings. I need to know how I can share this to my family and friends who are in different reason. That's one of the reasons. So you can see the storage over here. It just says I have just used 9.49 MB. Alright, so it does say how do I oh you can assign users, you can invite users, so you can invite up to like eight users. I just need to so share the link, give a description, and share the link to them. Invite by email. All right. Hope you found this video useful. And I'm gonna try to do a review video after a week or two to see how it's going with this and how my personal cloud journey is evolving. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.